Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Moss Tree Village. And we are in the middle of such a beautiful autumn right now. Oh, it's so lovely. And it's actually so much fun to still see leaves up on the trees. Where I live here in Michigan, it has actually gotten very cold. And we had a big, big snowstorm last night. It was so beautiful. I just kept looking out the window and watching as the snow flurries went by. And we should start getting some snow flurries here in Moss Tree Village at some point, too. So we'll have to see when we'll have our very first snow that's gonna be so exciting but today we don't have to worry about snow because today it's still mushroom season aka November so we're gonna go look for our morning mushrooms in just a second I just want to gather up some of the fresh harvest from our beautiful little garden I really love how many beautiful flowers we managed to continue to breed especially the orange ones I'm really actually a fan of the orange and black lilies for autumn oh they're so lovely and then I'm trying to get these white white lilies to do something. I think I want them to become blue or purple. I can't remember. So we're going to continue to see if they will breed by giving them a good water. Hmm, we definitely need to go visit Leaf today. So hopefully we'll be able to encourage him to get in the silver watering can once we buy 50 of the beautiful flower seeds from him. Oh my gosh, it's so addicting to water all these little flowers. Grow my little garden, grow! Give me so many beautiful leafy hybrids, please. I would love to give them away as gifts to people too. All right, so our garden more or less taken care of, I'm pretty sure. Hey, do you need some water? Let's go ahead and get started with the mushroom picking for the day. And a new villager has moved in, you guys. We have a brand new villager. Oh, and there's one of my mushrooms. Wonderful. So there's the very first mushroom of the day. Let me go ahead and water my purple roses here. I want to get Blanche's purple roses propagating. So hopefully we'll be able to get more beautiful roses for her. I think white and purple will be perfect for when we have winter. Oh my gosh, I'm so addicted. I am sorry, I have to water my plants. They're so pretty. Blanche, there she is. Let's go say good morning to her. And yes, you guys, so not only is it still early in mushroom season and we have some beautiful mushrooms to be able to go and collect, including our daily piece of mushroom furniture, but we have a new villager who just moved in today. Diva has just moved in. She has moved in north of Aurora. So hopefully Aurora will have a new friend who will be able to spend time with her because poor little Aurora has been all alone on that side of town by herself for a long time. So let's go say good morning to Blanche. Oh, and there's one of the fossil spots. And my little bush is growing here. Wonderful. Good morning, Blanche. Hello there, Bellas. Running into you is always a nice surprise. Quite so. So, what did you want? Let's talk. Let's talk, Blanche. Oh, I love the scent of our town's peach trees. Don't you? Everyone does. I wonder, Bellas. Can you bring me a peach? Of course, of course, it, that's easy to do. Oh, getting some of that delicious fruit to start the day sounds wonderful. Oh, don't mind me, that, that coin just fell on your head. Cough, cough, I'm gonna go ahead. Uh, it's going into the town coffers, Blanche. I'll, I'll be sure to use it for the betterment of the town. Oh, which reminds me, I actually do need to get the new public works project set up. Yay, and the little tree and the little bush I planted yesterday are also doing well. Oh, and the birdie's here. Attention customers! Today at 7 p.m. all items will be half price. Don't miss your chance. Please don't. The TIY. Oh, that's awesome. So Tommy and Timmy are having a sell. If we see anything in there we really want, I may come back later. All right. Oh no, and I don't have any room. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and drop whatever I have and let's plant the flowers I'm carrying. So we've got some red lilies that I'll go ahead and just plant up here and the little black lily. There we go. And let me go ahead and move this guy. I'll move him right about here, I think. And that'll be a good spot. Wow, all of this red, the red leaves and the red flowers, that actually looks really pretty. Oh, our town is looking so good. I love the bushes. The bushes add in so much. I wish I could get clovers growing everywhere. That would be amazing. Oh, and by the way, last night, I actually was being a little sassy and I tried to destroy this pansy by running on it. And it proved to be an eternal pansy. So let me go ahead and see if I can put it back down. But I was like, oh, I don't have any room in my pockets. I'll just run over the pansy until it's destroyed. And I accidentally ran over. Look at it, it's an eternal pansy. 
<laughs> it is going to survive no matter how much I, I trample it. And I accidentally ran over a yellow lily and destroyed it trying to get rid of the pansy. So I've decided that can be a cool pansy. I might move it somewhere and keep it. Blanche, I brought you a peach. Good morning, my wonderful friend. I'm so glad that we convinced her not to move. I would have been sad if Blanche wasn't in our town anymore. Would you like to eat this, Blanche? Oh, and Blanche, giving you this peach somehow has reminded me that I also need to summon our daily amiibo and go check out what's going on in the campgrounds and check out what is happening with our cat coupons today. There you go. Oh, a festival lantern. Thank you, Blanche. I can't wait to see what that looks like. And I'm also thinking about going and seeing, you're so fun, Blanche, going and seeing if Nook will expand my house, because I do want to get the, the second story. I just talked to Punchy, and he said he saw someone arriving at the station. It must be the new person moving into Mastery. Should we go meet the new arrival or give them a little space? Oh, I think I'm too excited to wait. Oh, that's so fun. Yes, I will go and meet the new person here in Mastery too. So we just got a festival lantern. Oh, and today is also fortune cookie day. <gasps> we have so much to keep us busy. So much to keep us busy. Pardon me, Blanche. I will be I will be heading over. All right, and let's look for mushrooms on our way to go greet the new arrival. So no mushrooms over here. Let's see, any mushrooms over here? Oh, who's this? Aurora, you have a new neighbor, Aurora. Good morning, Siri. So what can I do for you? Oh, Aurora, I'm so happy to see you. Hmm, I'm looking for a little insight on interior design. I want to get something to replace my monarch butterfly. If you find something you think would work, could you please bring it over? Of course! I wonder if we should get her a new bug. Uh, we have a peacock chair, a mushroom end table, and the festival lantern now. But I think she probably wants a new bug. So let's keep our eyes peeled for a new bug to give to our little naturalistic researcher, Aurora. Or maybe I'll give her a fish. That might work. All right, let's see. Anybody over here? Nope. Oh, and there's a tiny fish in the in the the lake. I wonder who are you, little guy, or like this pond? Let's see if I can try to catch you and maybe give you to Aurora to replace her monarch butterfly. I guess her monarch butterfly would be getting a little old by now. All right. Oops. Oh no! I got too excited. <laughs> All right, I'll have to try that again in a little bit. All right, I don't see any mushrooms right away. Oh, Big Top, hey! What's up? Okay, you're really excited. I'm trying to talk to you, but I keep trying to, like, fish at you instead. Oh, wow! What are you doing with that chef's outfit? <gasps> My chef's outfit? I used that to make peach jam, Big Top! I've always wanted one of those. Let's make a deal. Want to trade your chef's outfit for my caveman tank? A caveman tank? <laughs> you know what? Sure, Big Top. He's really excited. So Big Top is secretly a chef. I wonder what he likes to cook. Maybe fish? He's carrying a fishing pole. All right, so we got a caveman tank, you guys. Oh, that's hilarious. And here's another mushroom. So we got a skinny mushroom. Good, good, good. And we're wiggling our way up, checking for mushrooms. Poor diva. Oh, I chased off. No, I chased off an orchid mantis. I should have been more careful. And here's diva's house, you guys. So a new villager has arrived. Oh, I'm so excited. I need to get them some bushes. I'll plant some bushes down outside her house to celebrate. I'm in the middle of sleep. Come again when I'm awake. Oh, oh well, okay. We'll have to come back later. <laughs> but diva is actually... Oh, no, diva. Help, help. Aurora, you're not out either. Oh, my gosh. Oh, we're doomed. Dang it. Why do I always overestimate? Oh man. Why do I always overestimate our luck and I go and pick fights with bees? I'm always hoping it's going to be the random item and it's not. It's just, it's just bees. <laughs> oh, and speaking of things, I need to plant a whole bunch of bushes and trees and all sorts of flowers over here too. That's a big empty area. I'm starting to get the, the idea of it, you guys. I'm starting to fall into the flow of being able to put bushes down. Oh, there's a new monarch butterfly. Maybe Aurora would like a new monarch butterfly. Maybe her old monarch butterfly just got old. Uh, let's try catching, let's try catching it. All right, let, there we go. So what happens if we offer her a brand new monarch butterfly to replace her old monarch butterfly? I'm a little curious actually. All right, and no mushrooms over here. Aurora, I'll bring you your mushroom or your, your, oh, there's a mushroom. Yes, all right, what do we get? It's a mush TV. I don't think I have a mush TV yet. So, that, oh, Aurora, there you are. Oh my, are you all right? You look like your face really hurts. These things can be really dangerous, so please be careful when you're poking about. You poor thing, I hope you feel better soon. I love her so much, you guys. She's just so sweet. All right, so how about this, Aurora? We have brought her 
And let's go ahead and give her a new monarch butterfly to replace her old one. What do you think? <laughs> Not exactly the same thing. Oh, okay. Thank you, Aurora. That was really sweet of her to be understanding about it. All right, let's go ahead and release this butterfly then. Bye-bye, butterfly. And then, oh, hey, there's Genji. Hey, Genji, how are you doing? Whoa, Mega S, does your face hurt? Because it's killing me. <laughs> Just kidding, lady bro. But that's a serious makeover you've got going on there. Oh, I get it. You got stung by bees, didn't you? We got to work on those reflexes, lady bro. Otaku. I love it. Alola, what you want, Otaku? How are you doing, Genji? Hey, Mega S, can you do me a quick solid? I found something that Kit Kat lost. Can you run over it to him? Of course I can. All right, we'll take good care of it. I love helping my villagers out. To be honest, this is my favorite thing to do. <laughs> is just taking care of them and helping them out with all of the things that they need. Uh, let's see if I can maybe catch a bee for Aurora. I've got my net out this time. Well, there's a little bit of money. That always helps. Um, I wonder, I wonder. I do have an orchid mantis in the house that I could offer her. Maybe I have something. Let's just look at the festive lantern and if nothing else, I can give it to her. But I think she's looking for something to go on like a table and not something to go on a wall. So, hmm... All right, so we have a new festive lantern. It needs to go on a wall so we can see what it's like. And a new mush TV. Can I put that down? <gasps> you guys, look at it. It's a TV. But if I turn it off and then look at the other side. Dun, 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 dun. It's my new giant mushroom. Oh, that's so exciting. Oh, that's going to really be awesome. Okay, I'll have to do something with that. And you know what I could probably give to Aurora? Maybe my very first fish I ever caught? I'll have to think about that. Or maybe this orchid mantis? I do love Aurora. She is such a sweetheart and she's so nice. Maybe I have something inside of my my mush dresser I can offer her. A fireplace, a lantern. Um, I could offer her a lantern. I have a peacock chair, the mush end table, a Wii console, a cushion. Um, let's see, outdoor bath, wheat bundle, fancy doll. Maybe the fancy doll? Balloon lamp. Oh, the balloon dog lamp actually would be very cute in her room. You know what? I have two of the balloon dog lamps, so maybe I'll offer her that. Tall display case. Uh, sapphire laptop. Maybe I'll give her a laptop. That would actually be really cool to give her a laptop so she could do all sorts of research. <gasps> I want to do it. Okay, I'm going to give her the laptop, you guys, because I think it would be fun to see her doing all kinds of research with it. And I'm going to sell the sapphires, like the gemstones I have, because I've realized I don't really need them. And the caveman tank. We can go ahead and look at the caveman tank. Oh, and I have the special fertilizer from Leaf that I'm going to put away, because I know I don't need that. Um, are these my pumpkin heads? Okay, I can drop those off in front of, um, I can drop these pumpkin heads off in front of my museum or my botanical garden because we pretend that they're pumpkins and we'll use them in a special room. All right, so baby birds, how are you today? Noisy and adorable as ever. I love them so much. And then let's see. I need to try hanging this festive lantern on a wall. Well, maybe it'll be something good. Oh, dang it. I need a little bit of room. Uh, let's put these on the ground. Place on room. Place in room. Place in room. The skinny mushrooms look really good on the floor, actually, and so do the flat mushrooms. Don't those look awesome in here? Oh, I love it. All right. So let's go ahead and see what the festive lantern looks like. My room is such a mess. All right, let's put this on the wall. Oh, it's that lantern. Yeah, that's okay. We can probably sell that. It will be fine. Um, And can I actually get away? Yeah, I'll leave the light on. And I'm going to try just leaving. I'll take the other lantern because it doesn't, the scone, it doesn't match anything. Uh, was it the Patos that was down there? Just double checking. Yeah, it was the Patos. So yeah, I'm going to give Aurora the laptop because she's always writing and doing research. So I think it's perfect for her. And let's actually summon Wisp and get our little amiibo of the day summoned. So let me go ahead and do that. Hello, Wisp. And I have the little amiibo card. I am so excited. I haven't looked at it because I actually had Chips pick it out. So Chips looked over, my beloved boyfriend Chips looked over all of the cards I have and he's the one who picked this one out. No! Yes, it is. It is too an amiibo. Okay, hang on. Yes, I would like to try again. Okay. I always struggle with getting this, this done. Did I do it that time? <gasps> you again! <laughs> So my beloved Chips picked for the second day in a row. 
Butch. Okay, so Butch the dog has moved in. So we're or not moved in. He has he has showed up with Wisp. So let's see what he'll give us today. Yesterday it was a teddy bear. A cradle? You guys, this is adorable. I love it. I want one of my villagers to take the cradle. I would love it if they took the cradle. Oh, you guys, think about that. We could pretend they had little baby with them. I want to see what a cradle looks like. That's so cute. Okay, cradle, cradle, cradle. What does the cradle look like? Oh, it's so tiny. <gasps> you guys, that's adorable. Oh, that's just so sweet. I just love that. I wonder I wonder who we could pretend could be like the expectant parent. For some reason, I think Caesar would want it for his teddy bear collection, actually. That would be pretty funny. All right, and I need to give that to K-Cat, or I could just open it and keep it, but that would be bad. That would not be a good mayor. And let's see what the caveman tank looks like. Why is that kind of cute? That shouldn't be kind of cute. Why is it kind of cute? I don't know why. All right, I'm going to go ahead and wear my little overall outfit with the mushroom. Do I have anything I need to leave in here? I don't think so. Oh, yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead and take care of things, you guys, because I want to open up our fortune cookies. Oh, my goodness. There is so much to do in Moss Tree Village every day that it's very easy to get distracted. <laughs> All right. So, we've got a new gift for Aurora. Now I just need to find her. Aurora! And Genji's shaking trees. We're lucky the weather is so nice today, baby. So what's on your mind? How about this, Aurora? I think I brought you a new item. I'm going to give you a laptop. What do you think? And then you can do all sorts of research with it. Oh, a laptop! It's exactly what I needed. I'm looking forward to getting this home and putting it in a place of honor, baby. Oh, I'm so glad. There you go, Aurora. Oh, and what's she giving us? I love the randomness of the items we get. <gasps> a hamster cage? Aurora, I love you. Thank you. Oh my gosh. The other day, Punchy asked me to take something over to Blanche's house. Those two are always giving each other presents. They get along so well, don't they? To be honest, I'm a little jealous. Oh, Aurora, don't be. Oh, I love you. Okay, hang on. Oh my gosh, you guys. A hamster cage? Aurora just gave me a hamster. This this is a celebratory special moment. It was totally worth giving her my laptop. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, a hamster, a hamster, a hamster. Where am I going to put it? A hamster. Uh, let's put away my trophy. And let's maybe scooch this. I kind of need to like... Ah, so much stuff. So much stuff. Too much stuff. Messy Siri. Bad Siri. So many things Siri. Uh, cradle, scone, golden bug trophy can go in here. There we go. And then let's see. I want to see my new hamster. I really want to see my new hamster. There we go. Oh my gosh. <gasps> you guys. You guys. It's running in a little wheel. I have a hamster. Is he just going to run in his wheel forever and ever? Oh my gosh. Come on out, little one. I want to get a good look at you. He looks like a little he looks like a little mouse. <gasps> Aurora has given me a hamster. <laughs> It really it looks like a literal jungle in here with so many things and now I have a hamster I need to name it. Are you gonna be Hamtaro? Maybe I'll just call it Hamtaro. It's adorable. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Um, yep. 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 I need to be cleaning this place up. So do I have enough room? Let's grab these these two gemstones out of many many that are in here and let's start a grand cleaning. I think that's what we'll do tomorrow because today we still have to go and hopefully meet Diva and we need to open all of our fortune cookies not to mention maybe even go on a dream tour. Oh my gosh. Yes, there's so much happening. All right, so Aurora has given me a fantastically wonderful, perfect gift in a hamster. I did not dream we would possibly be even getting a hamster. That's fantastic. All right, and let's come over to Kid Cat's place. He's going to freak out about my face, I know. And then we'll give him the gift. And then we'll go and sell some stuff at, at retail. Hey, Kit Cat. Yes, I know my face. <laughs> It, it's, yeah, yeah, I need to train harder and run faster. All right, I have a delivery for you. Yes, it's from Genji. Alola, my friend. Here you go. All right. Is it something I lost? Did did I lose something? <gasps> Please. Oh, I thought it was a pear. Pfft, he got a coconut. Thanks for making the delivery. Here, take this as a reward. I wonder what he's doing with a bunch of coconuts. 
It's a lemon <laughs> gingham tea. Oh, thank you. All right. Thank you, Kit Kat. That was fairly harmless. <laughs> I thought he had a pear and I was just about to yank it out of his paws and be like, no, I need that. <laughs> All right, so we've gathered two of our daily mushrooms. I have plenty of things in my pockets to keep me busy. Mary, hi, how are you doing? Siri, um, have you looked at a mirror lately? Your face is like totally swollen. Um, you should really take some medicine soon. Swollen faces aren't in style this season, We. Thank you, Mary. Woohoo, wanna talk, Siri? Of course, Mary, so how are you? Hey, I've been waiting to get some redecorating ideas, and I think you can inspire me, Mui. In other words, I totally want to snoop around your house. How about later today? Uh, snoop away, my friend. <laughs> I'm probably going to be busy at that time, but I'll try to remember, sweetie. I was really hoping I'd be able to give her the cradle. I'm going to carry this cradle around until one of my villagers accepts it. Launch! Yes, it's me. I know. I know, I know. I, I was shaking trees. You caught me. So how are you today? They're always surfing together. It must be nice to have such close friends who are into the same things as you are. Oh, Blanche, we're close, aren't we? I would say we're into the same things. Are you getting excited for the Harvest Festival? It's this Thursday. Of course, if you want to participate in the big feast, you'll need to collect some ingredients. I'll start looking for things like mushrooms and fish right away if I were you. Uh, don't worry, I've been collecting up the mushrooms, but I definitely need to collect up more of the fish. There's so many things you need to collect for the Harvest Festival, and I've never done a Harvest Festival before. So it's going to be a little interesting to see if I can get everything in time. Alright, let's go in. Sell a few things. I haven't even had time to check my meow coupons. <gasps> Caesar! Did you see him? He said he said he was interested in that. I saw it. I saw it. Caesar, tell me, buddy. Yes, I did. Go with the temptation. Go with the temptation. Yes, more money for us, you guys. Dun dun dun! Nine thousand bells in my pocket. Thank you, Caesar. There you go. I'm pretty happy about that. Wonderful. All right, and let's go ahead. And we'll sell to Reese. I love selling fossils to my villagers. It, I just feel like they're such an intellectual crew. All right, and we'll sell all of these. Festival lantern can go. The cradle I will carry around until someone buys it. The peacock chair, I'm actually, I think I'm gonna go ahead and sell that. That was kind of an impulse purchase that I sort of regret. All right, and oh, she's pr playing, paying premium for some of these items? Tell me it's a peach. Tell me you're paying premium for peaches, Reese. That would be amazing. <laughs> Oh my gosh, let's see what she's paying premium for. Oh, so much going on. I love it. All right, let's see. And today, oh, ores. Okay, well, I think we did good there. I have another ore I could probably get out of my house and try selling to her too. And anything over here in the way of mushrooms? Mushrooms? Any mushrooms? Mushrooms for a curious Siri? No mushrooms over here. Bonch is still- oh, she just planted something! Hello again, Bellas. It's always glad- I'm always glad to talk with you, even this much quite so. Was there something you wanted quite so? What's the latest? So, I've heard you've got something pretty nice, Bellas. Well, I'll be completely honest with you, Bellas. I need your cradle. <gasps> Blanche, you're the one I was hoping would take it. Are you going to, are you going to, like, potentially add a little fledgling into the family? Oh my gosh, Blanche. I'm willing to give you every bell in my pocket to buy it. Let's see how much I have. Oh yes, 1,710 bells. Go for it. Go for it, Blanche. That's a great deal, and I love the idea that Blanche is actually accepting baby cradles, possibly for adding a little baby bird into her family. Maybe that's why she's always thinking about moving around. <gasps> oh my goodness. That's my that's my theory. Even if she never has, she clearly will never have a child uh, in this game, but I'm going to say she has a little baby bird. Yes, one of my mushrooms. Who's going to be just like lurking in her house as a little egg and who knows that's just that's totally my my story for her for now on All right, so let's see any other mushrooms down here. Oh my little bushes are doing good here Oh, I'm so excited Blanche was actually the one I was secretly hoping would take the cradle or Aurora But I could see Aurora sticking like a fish or something in it to research <laughs> Okay, so let's see now. I think my friends I've gathered up some mushrooms, so I think the time has come to go ahead and... Gosh, I'm out of letters. I sent off like four letters last night to the various villagers, including a new outfit for Blanche. Uh, but I don't think it got to them in time, because I, I ended up... Um, it was only like less than 12 hours ago I mailed off all the letters. Alright, oh hey Genji, I finished the delivery. 
Hey, yo! Uh, what's up with you? This is the part where you'll hey, yo, back at me, yo. What can I help you with? <laughs> I handed it over. Anyway, thanks for delivering that package for me. I don't suppose Kit Kat said anything. Well, he said thank you. Really? I bet they were surprised to find they had left it in my house. A whole coconut. That's right, Genji. <laughs> All right, let's go get our fortune cookies, you guys. And let's see what our fortunes are for the day. And then we'll go up and we will swap them out over with the nooklings. And we'll see what kind of special items we have. Because I have been collecting fortunes. <laughs> for so long and we still have two fortunes we can buy today too i mean look at all of these i've been diligently working away collecting so many fortunes here i'm just gonna leave this here for now oh my gosh so many fortunes so many fortunes and i'll just leave that and i guess i can go ahead and leave my water can here all right so now we're going to go and eat all of our fortunes read what the fortunes say and then we're going to turn them into the nooklings and don't worry i will i will cut out a lot of the giving it to the nookling pieces because it takes a while all right so let's come on up i want to get comfy somewhere maybe right up here where we can just kind of we can think about life think a little oh i can't i can't sit and eat at the same time all right so let's see maybe i'll work over here what? You know what? What's one of the most beautiful places in town? In my opinion, one of the most lovely places we have in town right now is kind of up here where we've got bushes growing and we have the little lake right here or I guess you'd call it a pond and we've got the lovely gold peach trees. They look so good in the autumn and we're just missing the last two that we'll buy today from the nooklings but let's go ahead and eat these fortune cookies and see what they say. All right. And I won't make you look at all of them. Let's see. Your friends need you. They always need you. They will never stop. <laughs> That's probably some pretty good advice. And then what do we have here? A day of fortune cookies. There was a fortune inside. Let's see. The land is in great peril. And soon you will be the hero of Moss Tree. Oh, that's adorable. I really, I'm going to do my best to be the hero. I'll be a good mayor. A good heroic mayor. And then, let's see what this one says. Never count your Yoshis before they hatch. Plans often change. That's adorable. Never count your Yoshis before they hatch, you guys. All right. So, I'll continue eating all of these. For the, um, for the sake of our community, I'll just have to work long and hard and good things will come to you. Eventually. So true. For the sake of our community, I'm just, I'm gonna have to find it in me to just mm, manage to eat all these fortune cookies. I love fortune cookies. Too bad they're made with eggs, so I can't eat them anymore. <laughs> But I will finish eating all of these. Exercising is not a hobby. It's a lifestyle. Wow, some of them are like really on point and deep and some of them are really silly. And as soon as I'm done, we'll go up to the nooklings and trade them over. So I will come back to you guys after I trade everything over and we can get really excited about whatever we manage to snag. So I'll see you guys in just a minute here. Oh my goodness, finally, the last fortune cookie has been turned in. So you guys, well, in theory, the idea of opening up a bunch of fortune cookies on one day is very exciting. In practice, it takes forever and don't do it. It's exhausting. So I have finally opened up all of the fortune cookies and all but one of them were prize winning. Yay. So we ended up with quite a few interesting new things, including three heroes clothes. So we have three sets of heroes clothes now i wonder if they're all the same oh they make the coolest sound when you put them on check that out so we have three sets of heroes clothes we have an r wing we've got a wee balance board a modern wood sofa which was our constellation prize we have a samus mask <laughs> We have the Samus mask, we have block floor, a Yoshi's egg, which I was so excited about, two new Nintendo 3DSs, we've got a coin again, and another R-Wing, so I'm really surprised. It turns out that the same, uh, depending on what kind of number of fortune you get, that tells you what the prize is going to be, and I didn't know that was the case, so I'm really, really, really excited because we got so many new things, but now we need to go back home and sort through what we want to keep and what we're going to like give away to our museum where we're going oh there's a little plant leaf i'll have to come back and buy your little plant in just a moment 
And oh my goodness, from now on, we will just open our fortune cookies the same day, if not just like off camera, because that takes a long time. <laughs> and also I wanted to come over and I wanted to tell Mr. Nook that I am ready to get our second story. I definitely want to expand to the second story, so I have a little bit more room in my house for sure. Plus, I haven't gotten my letter of invitation to get the upper story yet either. So I would like to expand, Mr. Nook. I'm ready. Well, listen, Siri, I believe your home would be oh so cozy if it had a second floor. A smallish loan of 298,000 bells would be required, of course, hmm? All right, let's do it. Excellent, I will put your order in right away, hmm? The work will be fully completed by tomorrow morning. I'm sure you'll be very excited, yes, yes. All right, you guys, this is gonna be so exciting. We'll have a new expansion to our house. Oh, that's really gonna be awesome. Anything I want over here? Oh, that's really pretty. We'll put those cobblestones down when it comes to winter time. I like the idea of changing up the exterior of my house pretty often with the seasons. Oh, so that'll be really fun. But wow, so I'm really excited about the Yoshi's egg. So let's go home and look at the Yoshi's egg. And then I'll have to figure out what I'm going to do with the rest of the stuff I have. I actually saw people on Tumblr asking for like the new 3DS because there's a new game you can play called Puzzle League with the 3DS. So you can play video games within your video game. How awesome is that? And uh, some people were offering like 2 million bells in trade for the, uh, the DS item. So I guess it must be really hard to manage to get that lucky coin so that I got two of them in one day. Probably pretty lucky. Though I have to admit, I'm actually still more excited about the hamster which is still a pretty amazing oh, Aurora I knew she was a loyal friend to me I mean she got me a hamster that's so cool all right so let me clean up some of the oh, I can't clean up some of this stuff all right so let me come over here I guess and let's look at the Yoshi's egg I want to see what it looks like <gasps> you guys you guys it's the best isn't it just the best Oh my gosh, that's awesome! So here is our Yoshi's egg. It's 100% perfect as decor, not only in our house, but in the museum as well. And then what else did we get? We got two of these R wings. And apparently there need to be a lot there needs to be a lot more room for those. So let's see what I can do. Alright, we'll crack this open. And let's move the new DS's in and the Wii Balance board. And then the modern wood sofa, Samus mask. I don't really want to keep the Samus mask, I don't think. It may be kind of cool if I can put it like in a, um, oh, there's another 3DS. That's a new, that's the R wing. New 3DS. Yoshi's egg, 100% keeping. Coin, I don't know. I guess I could keep the coin and give it away to somebody, but I'm kind of willing to like mm, just sell the coin because I've, I've gotten a coin before. Maybe I'll give it to... Let's see, spooky table, patch tat, the green pumpkin hat. I think I have enough pumpkin hats. I can probably sell some of those. And we can keep one set of the hero's clothes. I guess people, there's the other coin. I thought I sold that. Yeah, oh, I see what happened. I started keeping everything because I didn't know what else to do. And so I have a whole bunch of things. Oh, there's my moss ball. See, I need more room so I have, I have places to put these things. All right, there's enough room thankfully to store some of these things like the hero's clothes we'll see what the r, r wing looks like uh we'll see what the block floor looks like thank goodness i've got to clear out so much stuff i'm excited we are actually uh we are actually upgrading our house because i'm out of room all right so let's see what the r wing is do do, do. oh my goodness now that would be pretty darn cool if it was like in a space or archaeology room but I don't know if I have space to just keep sticking it endlessly in various storages. So I'm I'm going to go ahead and sell those. Not the mush lamp though. Mush lamp gets to stay. I love that mush lamp. And then we have a modern wood sofa that we got as a constellation prize. That would be really good inside of the botanical garden. So I'll drop it off at the botanical garden. And then we have the block floor. Oh, fun. I could actually see that being really good in the botanical or in the museum. So we'll drop it off at the museum. And these beehives are actually ingredients for the harvest festival. So I'll leave them on the ground. Whew, what a busy day. What a busy day. That was really fun. So we didn't get the uh, super special secret thing that or things I should say that I'm going for that came in the new update. And most of you guys already know what I'm talking about. Uh, didn't get those from the fortune cookies this time, but I'm happy with what we did manage to get, especially the Yoshi egg mushroom initiative <gasps> i had no idea there was an initiative for mushrooms and then pike huh 
these fish rarely show up during the day. I wouldn't want to see their tooth sparkle in the sun too often. So, hmm. I didn't know there was a pike initiative too, but we can go get our meow coupon. And let's go ahead and see who's at the campsite. And then, and I'll gather up the fossils while I stumble upon them. All right, let me go ahead and gather this up. Genji, do you want my R-wing? Let's ask Genji if he wants our R-wing because I wouldn't be surprised. Whoops, sorry, Genji. Smacking you with a shovel. Do you want the R-wing? I'm so happy that Blanche got the cradle too. Watch you, nothing like a good sunlight sneeze to wake you up, Otaku. What you need? So do you want the R-wing? I wonder if it's okay to play in the fountain. I want to show you my awesome crawl stroke and backstroke and butterfly. They all look awesome. But I guess there really isn't room for that, Otaku. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> all right, are you sure you don't want any of the things I have? Because they're pretty cool. Uh, how about digging for fossils? Although it's disappointing when you think you've got a fossil and it turns out to be a gyroid. Don't get me wrong, I love gyroids. Some of my best friends are gyroids, or taku. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, Blanche, how are you doing? Oops, I'm digging holes right in front of you, Blanche. Don't mind me. Just, just walking past, doing my thing. Let's see. And then Mary's back here. I don't suppose Mary wants any of our stuff, does she? What you doing, Mary? What's going on, Mui? I'm coming over to see her. Oh, that's right, she is. I totally forgot about that. Sorry, Mary. All right, let's go ahead and get our cat coupon. And then we'll see who is at the campsite. And then the last thing we'll do, or I should say the RV site. And then the last thing we'll do is go and check on Diva for the day. So, oh my gosh, another very busy day. <laughs> but I love opening up all the fortune cookies. All right. Hi, birdies. Hi, everybody. Oh, and he's feeding them. Harv, <gasps> Harv, wow. Oh my goodness, Harv, can I have some beans too? I would love to feed the birds. Hey, Harv. Harv? <laughs> Come on, please. Can you please give me some throwing beans? Aren't these yellow, little, little yellow birds cute? Just flying free, not a care in the world. I think we could all learn a thing or two from them, myself included. Oh, please, Harv. Why won't he give me throwing beans? <laughs> Come on, Harv. Apparently, I just need to keep talking to him. Aw, oh, man. He's pretty stubborn. Oh, do you want to feed the birds too? Well, go right ahead. Some places they tell you not to feed the birds, but birds gotta eat too, man. I'm so happy. <gasps> you guys, we got the throwing beans. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, does this mean I can feed the birds too? Okay, I'm gonna hold them. Okay. And... <gasps> this is the best. This is the best. I can feed the little birds. Here you go, guys. More food for you. More food for you. Yes. Harv, thank you. That's awesome. That's awesome. So now we've got the throwing beans, and we can feed the birds here. And we can also feed the birds who are... Um, who are at Main Street with these throwing beans too. So this is this is really truly a perfect day and it's gonna be surrounded with little birdies. Look how many are showing up now. <gasps> this is perfect. Yes, okay. I am very, very happy. I feed real life birds quite often too. Round electric sign. Well, I suppose I could let that item go for five meow coupons. Thank you, I just wanted to figure out what it was. An electric sign, huh? That's something that Chips would like. All right, pardon me, little birdos. And it looks like Sahara today, I think. So no wonder she's not showing up so I can do the house changing initiative. She's busy at the RV site. <laughs> and is there anything I really want from Sahara? Let's see. Uh, the Aquarius urn is really cool, but I can probably wait till I have room for it. The genie's lamp I would love to get so I could put it next to Wisp's lamp so he wouldn't feel lonely. Maybe they can talk to each other, like genie to genie. That would actually be adorable. And then the round mini cactus, maybe. Alright, so nothing we want from Sahara. So, alright guys, let's go and see if Diva is doing well. And then tomorrow, we had our really, really, really big day with all of the fortune cookies. And then tomorrow we can see what's going to happen. I'm so excited Blanche has the cradle. We'll see what else is gonna happen in the village, like getting our second story and picking a new public works project place and hopefully being able, bye Blanche, and hopefully being able to cut down more of the pine trees. I don't think we'll be a pine tree village really. And I think other than around Blanche's place, I don't think we're really a, um, a rose village either. So I might start removing all of the roses. All right, so let's go see if Diva's awake yet. 
I don't really want to meet her with like, a oh, she is. All right, at least I think it's a her. All right, let's go ahead and meet our new villager. Yay. And who's here? <gasps> She's a frog. Yes, welcome, welcome. I will catch you all the bugs. Whoa, a visitor already? Pleased to meet you. I'm Diva, I just moved here. So uh, you're Siri, right? I knew it. Yeah, I couldn't wait to move here after hearing about you. Everyone says you're a genius when it comes to making towns awesome. You should come over again once I'm all settled in. See you then, okay? You know? Oh, that's gonna be so fun! So it looks like she's got a sandy floor that I absolutely love and this really amazing wallpaper. I cannot wait to see what Diva's room is gonna look like. She's so tiny! She's just the cutest little frog! My place is totally messy right now, so if you hang around, you're gonna have a bad time. You should come back once I've tidied up the place, you know? I love her. I don't know why. I don't know why I like the diva characters, it seems. But Blanche is expecting an egg. At least that's my theory. Maybe that's what the Yoshi egg is for. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. All right, you guys. Well, we've got the throwing beans for the birds. We've gathered up our mushrooms. We've had a really fantastic day. I'll, I'll walk around and see if I can happen to stumble on any of the fossils that I need to dig up, like there. And, oh, my little throwing beans. And we got a hamster. That's the thing. It may be a long, a long morning in Lost Tree every day, but man, so much happens. Oh, we got a hamster. I got to help Aurora out. I gave her a new laptop. I managed to go and get some fun things from the TIY. It's just, it's just a fantastic life here. I love it. I absolutely love it. And I'm going to check around for any more fossils and maybe hang around so that I can meet with Mary at my house around 1230 or 1130, excuse me, if I remember correctly. And anything here? Dang it. Why do I always have to check the wrong, the wrong rock? There's so too many plants around you. You can't do anything. Oh, dang it. All right. But I'll gather these up and I will heal my eye and I will see you guys tomorrow for more adventures here in Moss Tree Village. And hopefully I can start cutting down some trees too, which sounds weird, but I've been meaning to do it for ages now. And throwing beans and hamsters. What am I going to name the hamster? All right. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.